You want to learn how to work with images in the shortcut video editor, don't you? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how, so let's get started right now. So I'm using the shortcut video editor on Linux, and I have, I have a video in here of a butterfly flying around, and I have this image of a butterfly sitting on a flower. So I'm going to take this image and just drag it to the timeline, and that's actually really all you have to do to get it in there. And you're going to notice that this image is about 10 seconds long. I do just want to say, if you want to change the default length of the image, all you have to do is click on the image in the file browser and just go to properties. And you can change the default length here. I can change it to five seconds, for instance, set default. That's going to change the length of it in the timeline. And now, if I bring some other images into here, I can just grab this one, for example. This is going to now be the same five seconds as the other one was. So I can make it so all the images I put into here are five seconds long. So how do you move the images around, resize them? Well, I'm going to show you that. But first, I do want to talk about my audio equipment here. I've been mentioning it in my videos. It has dramatically improved the audio quality of my videos. And if you're serious about making videos, you need good audio because good audio is more important than good video. Trust me, it is. And this is a nice high quality microphone. It records good sound. It blocks out the background noise from the street that's right outside my window. And you're going to want to get yourself a nice audio recorder to record your audio too with an XLR cable to plug it in. This enables you to record your audio to a high quality format and then you can edit it and do whatever you need with it. I have links in the video description to both of these, the microphone and the audio recorder, as well as some other great stuff for video editing and video production. So check out those links or scan the QR code. And now back to the video. If I want to resize this image, I can just click on it, go to filters, and click the little plus button here and I can type the word size, size, position and rotate. And I can just grab this and drag the edge and you know move it um, wherever I want just like this. I can right click and I can do add video track and I can take this and place it on top of the other image and you can see it's now right here as well. And let's go ahead and let's add another image. We can just grab one and drag it in there. Who really cares what it is? We'll bring this to the timeline here. And I'm going to add another filter. We're going to add the crop filter to this one. Crop rectangle. And I can actually bring in the sides here. I can also just, you know, change the, um, you know, change it by moving the, um, the numbers manually, but it's easier to just drag it in like this. And I can crop this. And now you're going to notice something. If I change this clip over, I bring this one on top of the other one, you have this black background. Well, on this clip, on this filter that is, you're going to notice there's a transparent uh, option for padding color. Click that, and now the background is transparent. Uh, not all the filters are like that, but this one is for whatever reason. So now, you know, you can just crop that and get it where you want it. You can add the size position to it. For instance, the uh, size filter that is. Just bring this down if you want and you can move it to this corner. You could then take this one if you wanted to. Let's extend this image here. As a matter of fact, let's give us some more real estate in the timeline so we can see what we're doing. Now, before I go any further, I do need to say that to trim the images, it's the same as with video. You just grab the edge and click and drag it and you can make it longer or shorter all you want. I'm going to add another video track, so I'm going to give myself a third track. I'm going to put this one on top here. And I can put this one in this corner. I can go to filters, add the crop to this one as well. And let's drag this in to crop out part of this image. Make it more of a square instead of a rectangle. And we can click transparent here in the background as well. And now this one is cropped out. So 
You know, you can see you can use these filters much the same as you do with video to move these all around. Get them to where you need to be. You can do picture in picture just like this. You can also add filters or sorry, you can also add transitions much the same way with video. You can click the little circle here, drag that out there and you can make this one fade in just like that. If you need more help with transitions and shortcut, watch my video I did on that subject. It's in the video description. Check it out. Click that link. Watch that video. It'll help you learn how to do transitions and shortcut. You know, with this position rotate filter, you can also, you know, rotate it too. Um, just click this and, you know, now I'm spinning it all around. You can see the, the bug is upside down now. The images, it works exactly the same as it does with video. It's very easy. You drag it into the playlist like you would with video. Just remember if you want to change the default time, just click on an image, go to properties, change that default to whatever you want and set the default. All images you put in from that point on will be that length, whatever you set it to. And truth be told, working with images and shortcut is really that simple. That's all there is to it. This is a very short video. Um, if you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, click the links in the video description for the microphone, the audio recorder, and a whole host of other video production um, products that I have over there. I scan that QR code for the microphone. And I will see you again for the next video.